it's uh, quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> at, yeah, like at the point when we met each other, we met each other randomly in Berlin, and uh, we had this, yeah, like right away, like this attraction and this chemistry. So we decided to jump on a train to down to the Balkans uh, without knowing each other at all. We'd known each other for one day. And then we're like on this train together, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. But at this point, I was also, uh, uh, I thought I was going to Amsterdam to move from Berlin to Amsterdam and start art school. So I was thinking this being, you know, a romantic trip, like this is a great guy, but we're probably, you know, after the summer, we're gonna move to opposite sides of the world. Because yeah, when I met Alex, he was working uh, on making a huge film Yeah, <laughs> huge for my life. <laughs> for this, <laughs> compared to this. Yeah, I was working at a studio, so I'd made a, I'd, I'd made some independent films earlier in my life, and there was some success. So I had an opportunity to work at a studio, and it was really great. But it was took a long time, and we switched projects, and so many years went by working and working and working to make this project, and then I thought it was finally going to happen, and uh, went to a vacation on uh, in Berlin just for a week to see it. And we met and ended up in Montenegro together and it was when we were together and she got the call or basically the word that yeah. she did not make it into the art school she had thought she was going to yeah. and I got the call that the studio has now changed their mind and decided to back out of the project. So yeah, so we were on an island in Croatia at the time when we got this news. So. Then we rented a apartment in Sarajevo and we started tacking up ideas all, all over the walls and then we went to Berlin, we wrote the script and three weeks later we're shooting shooting on the streets of Berlin. And in the middle of the winter. <laughs> <laughs> took us four years of full effort to actually make it all shoot in all the countries but now we're, we're here and finally going to show it in this theater so mm -hmm. it's exciting. It's a process. It was an experiment. It's a real experiment because, on the one hand, it's uh, <laughs> you, you, we we knew it was an experiment to, at the get go. We knew that if we cast actors playing roles, it, you can shoot it in a more straightforward fashion. You know that works. That doesn't. Um, but with us, we thought, well, if we could pull this off, because we don't have a huge, just tiny budgeted film. But we wanted to be very ambitious with the filmmaking. So we wanted to go to Montenegro and shoot down there, jump off the cliffs and come back to Berlin and shoot and then wait for it to be winter and then our hair changes <laughs> length and then go to Los Angeles. We wanted to capture all that. We knew with small cameras and even a tiny crew that's not much bigger than they're filming us right this second, uh, we could do that if we kept it small because now you only have two mouths to feed for the directing and for the <laughs> acting on a very practical level. And our, our we had a personal journey that this is inspired by and given that we had that we had all of these great photos and videos of us taking this trip and that kind of mm -hmm. blended with the fabric of the fiction and we used pieces of that to tell the story and give it a sense of reality that uh, I think is beyond then uh, beyond some of the shortcuts you have to take normally as a, as filmmakers to, to create your history as a couple mm -hmm. you see it done in films all the time like hey we, we, we were <laughs> high school sweethearts and it has like our pictures Picture. from the year of the yearbook with a heart <laughs> these are shortcuts people take to like create history between couples but because we did have a real history and we did have photographs and videos it was it laid the groundwork for us to use it and it's part of the creative process It's uh, more fun. <laughs> no, but it's also, you know, obviously it's always work because we're, you know, we want the film out there and we want the audience to see it and to share it. And that's, you know, the whole goal of making, making a movie. So it's always work, but, you know, especially a festival like Munich, it's, it's so nice. It's just like the vibe and it's just wonderful. Yeah. Sometimes you're really in the, you're at a festival where you're in the, thick throws of trying to sell your film and that's a lot of stress so when we showed mm -hmm. it at Toronto we love the, the vibe at Toronto and uh, the people in the movie going audiences were terrific but we also had a lot of pressure to like sell the film so mm -hmm. we were very nervous we were very broke at that point <laughs> <laughs> and so now we, the film's going to come out in the US in a couple of weeks and uh, we've been waiting to come to, to Munich for a long time uh, and thinking about it we go oh 
because we're going to be here after yeah. a lot of stress. And this is kind of our last one before we go back to the U.S. to premiere the film. And yeah. uh, so it's pure fun. We're going to be here for five days. It's my birthday tomorrow, tomorrow. on our German premiere. <laughs> so it's like, you have no idea. This is pure fun. We're going to be on the river, <laughs> having a drink, wearing a straw hat, being the goofiest people in München. <laughs> no. no, it's uh, it's like, thank God <laughs> we we survived this, and we're not, you know, completely bro like we're we're not rich, but we're not as broke as we could have been. Yeah, we, we gambled everything <laughs> so. we have, every penny, every single penny we have, we borrowed from anybody that would, I mean, anybody that would yeah. loan us a little bit. We spent four years of full time work, and so, in in. You know, it's great to be here and saying yay, but it's also like we could have so easily been having this birthday celebration. We were just joking, like drown, drowning in tears and uh, like, oh my God, we spent four years and it went nowhere. So uh, we're very relieved and happy that it worked out. And we do not, under any circumstances, look back like, oh, I wish I could be staring at these hard drives in our beneath our hope bed that have haunted our lives for four years. You're laying, we have pictures of us laying in these beds covered with hard drives, just like, oh fuck, how are we gonna figure this out? Um, so, yeah. so, We're very ready to uh, work on the next thing. Yes, it feels like an enormous relief and uh, exciting. But yeah, it's very exciting to show the film. Yes. It's very fun. Here's the advice, do it. Just. Don't listen to anybody. Just yeah. go forward. You're gonna. I can tell you. Um, this is my fourth film. How many mistakes I made? Our producer can talk to it. Our the <laughs> editing consultant from Germany that came in that was so helpful can can attest to this. We shot five and a half hours of edited scenes. To, we then had to narrow down. So don't be afraid of making mistakes. Just get a hold of a camera. Any camera at this point. Anything. Mm -hmm. We shot this entirely on a 5D with a, a mm -hmm. zoom that's worse than you're using here yeah. <laughs> so if you come to the theater you can see what it's like it looks amazing projected i mean you mm -hmm. can do it if you handle it very carefully but mm -hmm. don't let anybody talk you out of it uh, yeah. just progress and especially if you're a woman go for it we need more <laughs> women in film don't let the men just keep going yeah no that's that's <laughs> that's my advice <laughs> just do it it's uh yeah Especially if you're afraid, if something is holding you back, like if, yeah, if you want to make a film, a documentary, a short, like whatever you want to do, don't think you have to do another thing first. Yeah. If there's something you want to do, just do that. Yeah, and there's and you don't need a lot of money, I and mean, we didn't have a lot of money to make this, so don't think you have. I mean, I would we would love to get government <laughs> funding, please, <laughs> somebody please <laughs> give us some money. But if it doesn't happen, like you can find ways. Think about who your friends are, what locations you have access to. You know, hey, we could shoot. We shot in the middle of a Weihnachtsmark. Just go there and just with these yeah. tiny cameras, nobody even knows you're <laughs> shooting, and it looks amazing, <laughs> right? So, um, yeah, do all of those things to you know, that you can to make it add flavor. That uh, a big production is they're not going to be able to capture some of the stuff that you, as a student, would be able to capture mm -hmm. um, because they would have to stage that, and you can just go in and very. You know, quietly really? look like you're just, uh, we're just students, <laughs> but you're not, <laughs> you're filmmakers. Okay.